Hi guys welcome we're gonna give it a couple of minutes for everyone to join hi queen thanks for joining I'm looking forward to this Thursday night live and I know Thursday night people want to go out and have fun but for whoever wants to work on themselves and I wish I could do it another day but my lives are always at the same time. Hi, Marta. We have quite a few new people, so I just want to give them a big welcome. If you are in this group for a while, if you've been doing the work with me for a bit, please give everybody a welcome. If you see a question that you feel you can answer about the administrative side, side of, um, of what we're doing, you know, if somebody asks a question about the 60 day challenge, um, you know, and if you feel you can answer it, because I answered it for you before, please do that for uh, for any new members. I'm joining your group. I'm so happy. The way you join is you have to do the 60 day challenge and then join the Facebook group as well. I'm just gonna give it one more minute for everyone to to join. I told everyone so my lives are very scheduled. This way, you guys can count on me when you need help with doing the work, not everybody wants to work one-on-one -on -one or get extra support. This is why I come here to be with you. So I'm not random, okay? The whole premise of this work is that we are not random. We're not acting random. We're very, very precise in everything that we do in our lives. And this is what unfolds the manifestation of our precise vision. So I don't conduct myself randomly. I don't, for the period that you're doing the 60 day challenge, please show up on the lives as much as you can. My lives are every Monday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, every Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. What does the red circle mean and symbolize? So we're manifesting in a group. The red circle is a symbol that we are in it together. We stand in a circle because it's symbolic of the work, energy work we're doing. The infinity symbol symbolizes the power that we're channeling, infinite power, the power of the creator. Okay, that's if you want to put that next to your username, like some people who are doing the work have done, they want to be recognized by the other members who are doing the work. They want to show they're on the same path. So I just, please don't call me during my life. Sorry, I just have to decline. Um, I don't take calls during my life. My lives are educational for the people who are doing the manifestation work who need extra support. Okay, this work is about the application of our will. I want to talk um, just two minutes on the admin side of thing. If you're doing the 60-day challenge and you have a question, please, you can even put it in a Facebook group. We have now, I don't know, but... 30, 40 people who have joined. I only started it last weekend and they've been doing the work. And yes, you know, they, they, they can help you. But basically the instructions are on page one. Follow the exact instructions. If you have more questions, leave it here or um, somebody's going to answer it for you. So my lives are very scheduled, very precise. My Facebook group, which I started last weekend, is for the people who are doing the work and who want to connect with other members. It's also where we're going to sh share like our manifestation stories, be inspired by one another, connect with each other. And then maybe you guys even do meditations with each other where you agree on each other's manifestation. I've done this with two strangers in the past and it's worked for me. Um, I want everybody to set their mind straight at the beginning of this live. Big positive, unexpected things happen to me all the time. This is for everybody on this live. Please say it after me just to set the intention right for the live and for your weekends and the few days ahead. Big, positive, 
unexpected things happen to me all the time. Big positive unexpected things happen to me all the time. Okay. The rain video that I've done continues to gather attention, which I find, I find it crazy because it's, it's, it's all about sensationalism. Huh? People don't even want to really learn how to do things. It's all what's sensational, what's incredible. But anyways, somebody posed there an interesting question that I can make into an educational point. And while I'm watching these things and gathering this information, I'm always making notes for you guys. Somebody said, um, obviously with pun intended, can I make the sun appear at 2 a.m. at night? And she thought she was very smart with this comment. So guys, you can make anything happen as long as it's within the natural laws that were here before you. All right. So no, you cannot make the sun appear at 2 a.m., but that's not what I've done with the rain. The rain can be here or not at any point throughout the day. That means you can play with this natural law. Sorry, that means playing with it has not violated the natural law. Do you see the difference? Do you see, like it's, it's so simple. The laws of the universe cannot be altered, but they can be made to work in your favor for your individual advancement as long as it doesn't violate the premise on which they exist. In the 60 day challenge in my bio, everything is based on premises. All your specific manifestations and even the group manifestations are all based on premises, just like nature. This is why it works. If you have those premises in the forefront of your mind, all that's the foundation of any affirmation you do after that. Okay, so I want to talk today about um, a manifestation of the week was a physical key. Quite a few people got it and we have it in our Facebook group and I have a few more on my, um, on my emails. So I was excited about that. I had a very interesting dream last night in which I was reading an email and the email said, mind your new life, right? Because it's all like what we're working with our mind. And I saw these four words very specifically, mind your new life. Please pay attention because I've said in my mind that everything that I dream is connected to the group and the work that we're doing right now this year. So I want you to take it as a message for you. It's, it's not, it's a good message. It means keep your attention on your new life that you're creating. Okay. I had to return a key set, keys i forgotten about. Yesterday, the photographer for our wedding had a golden key on her necklace. That's amazing. A, a lot of people saw the key. A lot of people saw the key. And I told you guys on Tuesday, if you saw the key, you are ready to go to the next level. Okay, you're ready. You're unlocking something with the group and with the group work and with the group energy. So I'm very excited for everybody who saw this key. It's, this keys, it is very, very, um, it, it's symbolic, but it's also the fact that it's happened to so many of us with the physical key. It, it's really interesting to see what those people who actually manifested, and I'm kind of tracking it, the, the people who manifested the key, what's going to happen for them in the next couple of weeks. At work, I saw a set of keys, exactly. How can I be part of the group? You have to do the six day challenge in my bio. The price is symbolic. You can also join the Facebook group, but um, you have to do the 60 day challenge. Okay. Because it's all about setting your mind right, right? This work is about the application of your will. So just to back it up for the people who are new, the way the universe works in a very simplistic way sense is there's a creator there's a formless substance that's the interaction between the creator and us and there's us we are individuated pieces of the creator and the power that created the world is the same power that flows through us it the difference is only in the degree right because the apparatus through which it flows which is our body is limited is is obviously we through our apparatus cannot create worlds right? But through this apparatus, we can impress this formless substance. That's the interface between the creator and us and create 
the image that we hold in our mind. Now, the reason people can't do this easily, I'm talking about most people, is they don't have, their will is scattered. The world is designed to scatter your will, is designed to scatter your attention. It doesn't, they don't want you to create whatever you want. They don't want you to be able to hold in your mind a positive image, a steady image. Okay, I want you to understand when you're doing this work, you are swimming against the current of the collective consciousness. And because you're doing this, at some point, your 3D may unravel. And this happened to a few, it happened, definitely it happened to me. It happened to anyone I know who's manifested anything big in their life. Okay, there is an unraveling. It wants, it wants to hold you back. It wants to hold you back right? But you're going to insist. And if you insist, you must know that the authority that you have over this formless substance is via the same power that has created everything. It's just a difference of degree. You have to insist in your reality, things are going your way. You have to speak it, say it out loud. I'm afraid I must insist. Oh, um, I lost my job like it happened to me years ago. I'm afraid I must insist. This year I'm making more money than the year before. And no, this is my will. It, this is my image. This is my will. And I've done it. I've done it. But yes, the 3D will unravel. Let it unravel. Let it unravel. The frequency with which you change your thoughts is why you have a random life, is why random things happen. And I really believe that the richest of the rich in this world, the elites, they're, they're training their kids very differently than the way the majority of people are raising their kids in a constant state of distraction. Even our educational system doesn't pay attention to mind your mind. That's not, it's, it's all about learning all this information you might need one day. You know, that's like going on a trip and taking, packing your whole house because you might need every element of your house one day. That's not, this is not what needs to be fostered in every child. In every child, his own or her own talent needs to be put forward. And that's not what the educational system is concerned with. But I digress. All right. I missed, well, pretty much every comment so far. Um, I want to see um, if there are questions about the 60 day challenge because a few people joined and I've got some questions. I can't really go back and forth on the email too, too much. So maybe I'll save it and I'll talk about it at the end. If you guys have any questions about it, my lives again are three times a week at set times and um, they go for one hour. This work is about organizing your mind. If you're doing the challenge with me, it's about organizing your mind. Hey, this is my first time here. I just joined on the 26th. Well, welcome, Louise. Welcome. Can I get somebody to, um, somebody who's doing the work to welcome Louise, please? Can we start now? Yes, you can start anytime. You can start anytime. You have to commit to doing it for 60 days. The idea behind this work, okay, what I'm saying there in when you purchase the challenge, it says, let me know your top manifestation so I can agree with it. You got to know what you want. You have to know what you want. Oh, I want um, a peaceful and not a peaceful and abundant life. What does it mean? What does it mean? I want an abundant life. What What is abundant? You need to define what you want. And then this work is all about holding your will steady no matter what. No matter what happens in 3D over the next 60 days. Really, 60 days is just to train your mind, just for you to see synchronicities and results in order to convince you that it's a lifestyle. Okay? I'm not going to lie to you and tell you, oh, yeah, you know, it's uh, you do it for 60 days and then a palace will appear. No. What's going to happen during the 60 days? You're going to make associations between this work that you're doing and what appears in your life. And things are going to change. They're going to change. The, you're going to get sinks. You're going to manifest whatever the group is manifesting. You're going to see the power of the collective consciousness of a group of people, you already see the power of the collective consciousness is negative. I'm talking about the world in general. 
And um, once you've convinced your mind of that, which really should been taught, should have been taught to you when you're five years old, seven years old, when you went to school, they should first teach you how your mind works rather than teach you multiplication tables and chemistry and the elements and whatever it is that they teach you in school. They should be teaching you how your mind works, but they don't. And it's not because they don't know. I just bought the challenge yesterday, but I haven't had time to dig into it. No problem. Start it whenever you feel like you're ready to focus on yourself. Okay. Just, you know, don't do it in a hurry. Okay. Vision has to be with no hurry before you even open this file, sit there with your mind and have the vision of what you're trying to manifest, right? Why am I doing this work? What, what am I trying to bring forth in my life that is not exactly the way I want it now. What is it? What is it? And know within yourself that you have this power to impress the formless into form. Okay. And you're going to insist on until, until the substance has molded in accordance to the shape of your thoughts. You're not going to stop until it does. Amy used to be a school teacher. So you know what I'm talking about, right? I love writing down the little things that appear out of the blue. Yeah. Th yes. The key will be that you need to make the association with the entries that you make specifically in the 60 day challenge. It will, it will have success in this work is cumulative, right? When your mind understands how it works, a little thing like manifesting what we had last week, red birds, people are still sending me photos of red birds, right? All of a sudden they see their success. They know it's not a coincidence because when you do in a group and you see like 20 other people doing it and we just discuss it, you're like, wait a second, there's something to this. You know, Mona's talked about this. She told us to manifest a red bird. I've seen it. 20 other people have seen it who are doing this work. So if we can do the bird, we can do something else like money, a trip, an SP, a wedding on the beach, whatever vision you hold, whatever instruction you can impress in your mind, you can bring forward. Please understand there's nothing that your mind can conceive that you can't achieve. Okay. This is a cheesy one. It's very true. The reason you haven't achieved it yet is because of your distributed attention every single day, because you go back and forth and because you allow your will to be scattered. By the way, the force of your will will be, you'll, you'll be able to make associations between how tired your body is at every given time. Pick a time of the day, any time of the day. Okay, let's say it's 8 p.m., 10 p.m., 5 p.m., and check in on your body, but it has to be the same time every day. And see if some days your body will be more tired, you'll notice associatively that your attention that day has been too distributed, and you'll also notice that you're not able to bring forth the things that you wanted to bring, right? So in a week where your mind is all over the place with your boss, with your boyfriend, with whatever it is you're doing, You'll, you'll notice that you can't manifest the red bird or the keys or whatever instructions I can give you. And if you associate manifesting what I'm asking you to manifest, you'll notice it's, it's on a week where your attention is a lot more focused. I'm talking about in general, you need to teach your brain this associations. Do, do we, let's take some questions. I missed last week, but yet I manifested a red bird. We are powerful together. Yes, because we're doing it as a group and it's not individual work. You are writing on the energy of others. This is the beauty of this group. You cannot, guys, you cannot give more than what you receive. Believe me, give energy to this group. You shall receive way more in return. Don't think for a second that anyone's taking anything from you. Don't think for a second to take anything from anyone. Okay. Don't, don't try to take anything from anyone ever. Don't compete. We don't compete. We create, there is no third party. There is no, the other job, 
applicants are not your competition. They're not competition. You create, okay? You get, you always get what you want or better. That is the premise of your life from today, from the time you start this work until for the rest of your life, okay? You always get what you want or better. You have to make room for better. You have to. Manifested my SP to reach out one day based on your weather video that I posted two days ago, but it didn't work. Um, look, um, your SP reaching out is not the same as the natural laws of rain and snow. Those ones are easy. Okay, your SP reaching out has to do with your self-identity. And let me tell you, I don't have to have the self-identity of being loved and adored in order to make the rain stop. I just have to have the self-identity of understanding that I rank higher than the rain. It's very different manifesting your SP. For your SP, for more money, for a better job, for you have to see your self-identity different. The identity that he doesn't text, you have to dissolve. Rashmi, okay? You have to dissolve the identity of that person and build a new one. Okay, let's see. You belong with me in this video, Taylor Place. Okay. Uh, Ashley. Okay, Taylor Swift song in my head when he belongs with me. I looked up the music video. I like it. I like that. It's the universe talking to you, right? Is the universe talking to you? Pay attention. When you're doing the 60 day challenge, take everything as a message and take everything as a message the way I take it, what I dream about. It's not only for me, but it's for the group as well. This is why I created the Facebook group. Okay. So uh, Ashley, it's just something you can share on the group, right? As well. You can just put it out there that I, I saw that and you'll be surprised that somebody else might say, I, I saw that as well. Amy sent me a photo of uh, her new cat today and uh, I posted it on Facebook. It looks identical to my cat. So do not be surprised if in the course of this work, when you're posting things in the group, you'll notice that other people have the exact same story, the exact same thing happened to them, right? We're, we're collectively making the same affirmations, guys. So it makes sense. We will manifest a lot of the same goodness. Let's think about this. How to not, how to not be obsessed with the person you start being obsessed with yourself. Guys, if you're manifesting another, okay, never use the word obsessed because you're not going to like the results. That's not, I don't teach that. I don't, I, I know it can be done that way, but I don't teach that. And I'm hoping you're not going to go down that path of making anyone obsessed with you. This work is about you. It's about you. And if you're doing from a point where you allow the same power that created worlds to create your world, your individual world, you will be incredibly happy. You only want your SP because you think that's going to make you happy. Okay. But please understand, allow the flow to be natural from the infinite. The supply is infinite. You can only be loved and adored. You can only be valued, loved and adored, and you're surrounded by protectors and providers. This is your reality. Forget, if you hear one thing that's against that, in your mind, let's say your friend calls you up and says, oh, all guys are such pigs, you know, like, look at this guy. Just disassociate, even if you might have to listen to her, disassociate yourself from, from, the, from that reality. Just say, that's not mine, that's not mine. That's just hers. I let her have it. Do not try to fix anyone else when you're doing the 60-day challenge. Just stay focused on the energy of the group, okay? Do not try to fix your mom, your friend, whoever. A guy in a group was affirming women are obsessed with him. He had to get a police escort for one. This, this happened to a friend of mine. She was manifesting a guy. I told her not to do it. And, uh, you know, like we kind of, we came up together in this world and her and I, and, um, you know, I, I, like she knew about this work. She knew about, you know, and she, she knew exactly how to do it. She did it. She had to have a restraining order against them. I guess she proved that it worked. Don't do it that way. Don't do it. He was he was nuts. And he wasn't a good person either, right? Sometimes we're obsessed with an SP. 
you think you really want him, but what you want is to be happy. How do you have your SP contact you? I'm doing the 60 day challenge. Rashmi, please forget about your SP to contact you. You want to be loved, valued, adored. And if you need to think of him, think of something really positive that happened between the two of you and stay just in that memory. Do not try to manifest him to do something specific. Him doing something specific will come as the result of you living in that state of mind where you're already married to him, or you feel valued, loved, and adored. Never, I, I did never even try this to have somebody contact me, sit by the phone, ring, ring. It, it, that doesn't work. It doesn't. It's, it's not how it works. Okay. When he rings, when he shows up, it will, it will be not only a pleasant surprise, not only unexpected. You won't be like, Oh, I, I said this in my head five minutes ago. And look, he did, you know, if that happens, even if that happens, it's not going to be sustainable. People who manifest their SP that way will notice, oh, but it's he's still iffy. Like he still won't commit. I manifested him to come back, but he still won't commit, right? Who has had that happen to them? That they know for a fact they were doing some work and via that work, they manifested their SP to contact them, but it wasn't what they wanted. Quite a few people had that happen. In, in manifestation circles, like I've read comments to this effect all the time. Me, <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not surprised. I'm not, I'm not surprised. Let me see. Do you believe everyone is you pushed out? It's confusing when people are mean and accusatory. Okay. But did you do the internal work to check your beliefs about yourself? Everything that happens around you, it's not that there aren't people who are mean and bad people. It's just that those people won't pop up in your reality when your self-concept is so much higher. So let me give you one, one trivial example is on the road. Once you check yourself, I have not had someone cut me off in traffic in years. It used to happen all the time when I, when I reacted to it. I have not had one bad experience on the road. Try this with traffic. Try this with, you know, other cars, other people in terms of try it. Don't try it with somebody that you have an emotional investment in, right? Like your mom, the way your mom reacts to you, the way your spouse reacts to you. Just try it with the people at large. Change something within yourself. Give a different instruction in the matrix. Do insist that everything's always working out for you. Everything, you know, but not just generally. Just, just put in your mind from here to the grocery stores, I'm going to hit every light on green. And even if you hit one on red, it will be like for two seconds. I promise you. I'm in an amazing, happy, committed relationship. I really want to be engaged. Okay. I want you to think about your life together as a married couple. Nobody just wants to be engaged. Engaged is a step towards marriage. So number one, sign everything with Mrs., his last name and already envision every day, like before you fall asleep every day, envision, revise the day. Like you're now married. What's different? Something's got to be different than the committed relationship that you have now. Something's got to be different. Maybe now you have joint bank accounts. Maybe now you log onto your bank account in your mind and you see both your names on it. Maybe you have kids. Maybe you have to wake up at 4 a.m. to change the diaper. And then, you know, in your mind, you have this clear vision of you being like, babe, you go now, you go. You know what I mean? Pick some trivial elements that imply that you are now married. Now, pay attention. If you're new here, this vision that you're creating has to be the same that you speak and the same that you feel. So if you feel fear, he's never going to marry you. This is not going to come to pass. If you have this good feeling, my God, I feel so good in this trivial life of diaper changes. Okay. And then you hold this vision, but now you tell a friend, you know, this asshole hasn't proposed to me yet. I can't believe it. You know? So these three things have to be in coherence. One, two, three. You can never speak that. You can only speak of this, this either this, I'm married to him and the ring's going to follow that 3D is going to catch up with the reality that we're changing diapers together. Is it all right to be manifesting a specific person or just their traits? 
it's all right to manifest a specific person as long as you keep the work on you. And like I said to the other person, we have a lot of specific persons here. Like I said to the other person is if you have a memory of them, have a positive one. Usually just keep it to, let's say, a sexual one, because that's creative energy. If you had a positive sexual experience with this person, just keep your mind in that moment. Okay, because this is neutral, right? Like it's it's sort of like it's a really positive experience that doesn't bring up any sort of insecurities, fears of being left. It's just a very hopefully good experience with your SP. I want to pick this up because I want to read a couple of emails um, that I uh, I read. So when I when I talk about anybody's story, I never have anything that identifies them. So if you're on this live, please know if I'm reading anything you wrote to me, nobody will know it was you. Anyways, um, I was um, I was advising someone to like a few weeks ago to um, let go of something that she didn't want. She had something in her life, an SP, but wasn't exactly what she wanted. And I told her, if you don't let go, okay, you're telling the universe by accepting the situation, you're telling the universe, this is what I want. This is how we communicate to the universe. If you don't have what you want, give it back. Throw it back. Okay? What Just say, it's not what I ask for. If you stay in it, if you stay in that circumstance, that's saying to the universe, you want that, you're okay with that, and you want more of that. Okay? It won't just know just by you talking, oh, I want, I want to change. I don't feel loved. I'm not really attracted to him, but... Um, you know, for now it's okay. For now it's okay. It's okay forever. That's how the universe interprets it. Okay. So she says, these guys show up after I, she, she removed herself from the situation. After I began going on a date, dating site, we have been talking and there seems to be something it's happening. I close the door with the other guy and look what's happening. That's what fate is, isn't it? You take an action to say, I trust that there's something better coming for me. And I'm willing to show my trust by saying no to what was. Do you, do you understand that? You have to say no to what you currently have that is not exactly what you want in order for the universe to give you better. You always have to believe you are worthy of better. You are. You are. This is why you're doing this work, the 60-day challenge. You're, you're doing it because you keep saying to the universe, I am worthy, I am worthy, I am worthy. And so your condition now will become intolerable. Because as you are raising your worth and the other person is this person that you kind of half didn't want anyways, it's going to become impossible to tolerate them. All right. Another person, um, we, we worked on uh, self-concept yesterday. Already two guys who have been interested in me but haven't reached out to me in weeks reached out today, both of them. Both of them after one day of working on this self-concept, but it was heavy work. One wanted to see me and the other one inviting me to his basketball game, um, et cetera. Okay, so things will happen fast, 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 fast. Now pay attention. When something happens, if it's not what you want, if you don't wanna go to that basketball game, if you're not interested in these guys, do not throw it back. Just say, no, not, this is not, it's not exactly it. It's not exactly, I also have people who tell me, um, yeah, I know other guys, but I'm only attracted to my SP. Should I go for the other, should I date? Should I go for the other guys? Guys, never date somebody you're not attracted to. Never touch somebody you're not attracted to. That changes your energy system immensely, okay? Never, never, it's, it's better for you to keep your will and your focus steady and to throw back anything that is lukewarm that you don't really want desire something better. Okay, Adriana, what if the desire is something better, but that person, but the best version of him? The best version of him is attracted to the best version of you. You have to be honest with yourself if you have been the best version of you. Right? I recently left. Okay, I'm missing a lot here. I keep going to the area where we want to move. Okay. Yes, this this is good for visualization. You keep driving by past a certain area is very good if you can do it. 
if you can be in cars you want to have, if you can be, but remember when you're doing these things, it has to be vision, speech, and feeling. If you're in your friend's Mercedes and you're kind of jealous of them, you ruin the coherence here, right? If you're thinking, why her and not me? What she have, you know? What she have that I don't have? I have a friend who says that about her sister-in-law. He goes, my sister-in-law does nothing. She does nothing. And my brother does everything for her. And I can never find such a man. Why her and not me? Because you're extremely jealous of her. What she has that you don't have, a higher self-worth. It's hard to acknowledge this. It's hard. Um, okay. Where are we? Can I? Uh, I love this learning so much from you. I, I love that you're learning so much, so much from me. Um, the disease question I'm not going to address on, on the live, guys. Because um, I don't, I don't want, like, if you want to have a private conversation with me, you can, if you're doing the 60 day challenge, but um, this platform, okay, when I talk about lottery numbers or diseases or anything that really goes heavily against the matrix, you know, like I, I don't, I don't want to lose the platform. Okay. Let's just put it that way. Uh, so I'm not going to address any of that. Um Manifesting Portugal trip for winning top rep at my company. A hundred percent. I'm manifesting a trip to Hawaii, guys. It's going to happen before before year end. A hundred percent. No, I haven't booked anything. It's not in my, you know, it's it's not about just I'm manifesting it via serendipity. You know what I mean? And I just want to be like, oh I want to go to Hawaii, let me buy a ticket. That's not the point. We had a lot of appearance changes um in, in our group. And um, yeah, let's talk a little bit on the body and, and the physical shape. I, I have a video that kind of went semi-viral where I set my weight to a certain weight, 126.6, you can find. And then I later put proof that I was still that weight. Um, and I'm going to do more. I'm going to do one every two months or so, just, just for you to be inspired by that. Okay. It's the body is an energetic structure that you can mold and once you mold the energetic structure, the body will mold accordingly. Now, the more people have observed you in a different shape, the harder it is to go against the collective consciousness. This is why these changes are harder to, like, you couldn't, I, I couldn't all of a sudden become a black man, right? Because the collective consciousness has already observed me in my current shape, but they haven't observed me to the detail of knowing my specific weight of knowing, you know, exactly the size of my nose, the size. So all of these slight changes you can make, you cannot make fundamental changes. Um, but this is the type of changes that people have reported all the time, right? Sort of more pointier chin, whatever you guys want to do, bigger eyes, a different shape of eyebrows. We have a few people in the group who have done this, no? I'm in real estate. How do I manifest to sell a certain property? You see the property visually. You see your name on the sign, right? You're the real estate agent and you see the salt on it. Keep this very visual and you're not stopping there. You're also seeing your commission check with a write it to yourself. Calculate how much it would be, write it to yourself, and in the um, note there, put re, one, two, three, street west. So is it possible to manifest a specific amount of money during the 60-day challenge? The timing has to do with you, not with me, and not with anyone else in the group. The timing of when things, there's two elements here, okay? The specific amount of money, I really believe the universe doesn't understand numbers, but it does understand all your needs. So if you need a specific amount of money, okay? Think about that whatever it is you are going to do with that money, you have done with that money. The timing as when it comes, for some people it comes the next day, for some people it comes two years later. It has to do with how you are able to shift your belief about yourself in order to understand that the same, that your body is an apparatus and your consciousness is the same consciousness that has created the world. It's just to a different degree. 
And by allowing that to flow through you, you are shaping. See this reality exactly like clay, okay? And you, you're you molding the shape of exactly what it is you want into it. People have, even people in this group have told, they've manifested cars, homes, whatever, whatever it is that they could impress their subconscious mind. And now I want you guys to remember your paradigm. Okay. So because we have new people, I am going to um, do the diagram again. So this is your mind. The top of it is your conscious. We'll call it C. This is the subconscious. And inside the subconscious, you have the paradigm, the P. The paradigm is your identity. It's everything you've been told about who you are, okay? The way you look like, where, what social status you belong to, the color of your skin, everything is in the paradigm. And, and so if you believe, let's say if I believe I'm a woman and I believe in my paradigm and I've observed that women get paid less than men for the same roles in the same companies, this is going to manifest in my outer world, okay? Because if this paradigm was instilled in me, this is a trivial example, okay? Or my, my paradigm is men only like women who, who have, I don't know, a bra size of 36D, okay? Then this is sort of what will manifest for me, right? If I see myself as a, a much smaller cup than that, then, you know, I'll notice that men aren't really interested in me. Or even if they are, the moment we pass by a 36D, they will react towards that person because reality reflects my paradigm. So when you're doing this work, you're doing it to change the P. Now, if your P is where most people's P is, right? Like, for example, we never get ahead, only the rich get richer, etc. You can tell yourself, I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire, you know, like those affirmations on repeat 150 times or a million 50 times. Okay, your paradigm is just going to push it right out, just going to say, no, you're not, you need money to make money, you don't come from money, so you can't have money. So it's not this, this is a fixed set of ideas. This is where we're working. This is the premise of your life, right? It, does, it doesn't work that way. You can't say, oh, I have a million. No, you don't, because, you know, that's not what it takes. You being you is not what it takes to have a million. You got to believe that anything can happen at any point in time, okay? Anything positive. Remember how I started this life? Big, positive, unexpected things happen to me all the time. Big, positive, unexpected things happen to me all the time. Circumstances do not matter. Your past results have nothing to do with your future results. Your current circumstances have nothing to do with your future. All you got to do is gather your scattered will from all over the place, your attention, okay, from the politicians, from the Kardashians, from your friend, from your boss, from thinking, all you got to do is at the end of the day, do not think about what happened in the day and what you should have said better. Revise your day to what it should have been in your ideal world. When you wake up in the morning, you can't think about yesterday. You can't operate on, oh, this happened yesterday. Do things in completely different order. Okay. Maybe um, start your coffee machine before you go to the bathroom, right? If, if you usually do it in that order, do things differently in order to attract big, pleasant, unexpected things into your reality. Okay. You got to give different instructions in the matrix guys. You got to give, nobody's going to give the randomness of your life has to do with the fact that you can't hold your vision. You can't hold it. You can't, you're always contradicting it. Believe me. And also believe me when I tell you, you can do what you previously thought cannot be done. You can, you can create your reality. You can, it's your birthright to create your reality. I memorize the six premises and I set them in my head as soon as I wake up. Well, also tell them you have already seen many positive changes in your life, Amy. Have I missed any important questions? I set my weight so I can go model to go along with my music. 
uh, so I can model to go along. And every day I see a noticeable change. I love this. I love this. What What is your weight? And pay attention when I'm asking you this really. What is your weight? Pay attention to the question. Right? My weight is this because I say it is. This is my weight. You understand? If I jump on a scale, I don't see that. I jump, I jump off the scale and I say, this, this must be something wrong with this. My weight is 126.6. Now, don't weigh yourself all the time, okay? Don't weigh yourself every day, okay? Your weight is 195.6, okay? I want you to send me picture proof as soon as you have it, and don't weigh yourself between now and then. I know all this information. I haven't, I, I have learned and practiced for years, but I'm still chronically ill. I'm wondering, have you been able to um, bring forth everything else except your condition? This would be interesting to know. So it'd be interesting to know. So guys, when I tell you that what we're doing here is work, it's work. It's work, right? It is very... It's very tempting to go through someone's videos who says, all you got to do is change your mind that you can make a hundred grand a year and, you know, buy this, my online book that you read 10 pages and you put it aside and you forget where you put it and it will all happen for you. It's not, it's simple, but it's not easy. It's not easy to change the paradigm. You're better off if you understand it's not easy. You're better off if you understand it's not easy. But, you know, try it with the people who tell you it's easy. And come back here, mark one of my videos in favorites, and come back here in six months when you haven't achieved it and when you decide you are worth doing the work on yourself. Right? What else do I want to talk to you about? Okay, I want to talk to you about something important because a lot of people have seen fast results um, after after joining the group, right? More so with the smaller manifestations I'm talking about, with the manifestation that I give as an instruction to the group. What I think is happening, guys, it's... And, and even like if you look at the weather video that I posted, there was at least 200 people that says, I can do the same thing. I just never thought anyone else could do it. And I just thought, you know, it was just me or it was odd. The reason all this information is coming to the surface is, is because the power that is flowing through us wants to be known, right? Think about in the collective consciousness, the opposite is happening. And everything has to stay in balance, right? When all these negative things are happening, when all these people seem to be going just devolving really in their consciousness. What's going to happen is the opposite force is going to be stronger and is going to push forward. Like, why do you think like I'm even prompted to do this? I wasn't like all my videos are completely not, you know, about doing miraculous things or doing, you know, flipping, you know, a coin and doing tails 10 times in a row or, or something like this. It's not about that. It's all educational. But I was prompted to do this video because 200 people needed to see that what they do is not a big deal. And if they can do that, then, you know, the belief in them is increasing that they can do bigger things, right? It's right in the Bible for all of you who grew up with the Bible, whatever things I can do, you can do too, and even greater things than this you can do if you just believe, if you just understand how it works. I've done a video about that, like three videos down from, from the top. If you go down, you should look into it. Okay, what do you think about human? You know, I want to I wanna look more into that. I know you told me the human resonance. I, I'll talk about it in my next live. I just want to be more informed on it. Schumann Resonance. Thank you, Ashley. Another huge part of this work when you're doing the 60-day challenge is you cannot look back at your life with any type of regret. Mark my words, every regret 
every reaction to the past is against your current manifestation. Okay? Every regret takes an immense amount of energy out of you because really what you're, you're, the instruction that you're giving is you're giving back and you're wishing to branch out into a new future. You're wishing from the backwards point that you would have made a different decision about something. That's what regret is, right? And as you're going backwards to create a new branching of reality, that takes an immense amount of energy because the branching of reality can only happen naturally in the present moment from today. Please pay attention. This is very profound. Every time you have a regret, you're trying to go back in the past and branch into a new reality. It's, it, it just takes an immense amount of energy. This is why you're always drained. You got to forgive everyone in your past and forget the past. Forget your association with the past. Okay? If you were with a person that really it took you for a ride for the best years of your life, you got to forgive them. And you got to understand that you made the best decision with the information that you had at the time. And there's no other decision you could have made. And the person you are today is just observing that person that you were. Therefore, you're not the same person. You can only create from today. Please be very clear. Sit down with yourself and say, I let go, right? I, that's, that's not me. The me is just today. It's just a memory. It's trying to pull me. I'm not going to let it. Exercise your will, your will to push forward into the substance imprint yourself into the substance the way you want it to be now. Do not let all the strings pull you back, literally pull you back into the abyss of your past. This whole life is very profound. Thank you so much. Adriana, we talked about your SP. He's on, he's a non-entity for now. Adriana's working on Adriana. Adriana's gorgeous. She's loved. She's adored. Do not put any time pressure on anything. It's just about you, queen. Queen, you have like even speaking with you and seeing you, your value is so much higher than, than you think. I need you to think. You are one of the most beautiful women that I have spoken to. You are gorgeous. You are wonderful. And, you know, there are many men who are praying for someone like you. Many, 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 many. Okay? And as you elevate yourself, the highest version of your SP, I promise you, will be at your doorstep. So before now, delete it from your consciousness. Adriana, they are coming. You are beautiful and perfect. This is the power of this group, guys. We are so supportive of one another. You are so supportive. And this, this is why I did the Facebook group. This guy celebrates everybody who... I, I left it open, anybody in the group, because I only allow people who are doing this work with us. Anybody can post. I don't need to approve. I trust you guys. When somebody posts a success story, celebrate it as if it's your own. Okay, celebrate it as if it's your own. And, and this is how you manifest your life. You're not in competition. Don't think that if somebody won something, that means they took something away from the universe and it's less for you. In fact, they created the opportunity for you to think that it's possible for you. So they've increased the universe. They've increased, they added to the universe. Okay. Now, because we're a lot of new people, I'm going to do the I am affirmations. First, the same ones we did on Tuesday. These are very powerful. Then I'll do the I am a winner with impressing the will into the winning. What is the Facebook group? I would love to join. You have to do the 60-day challenge and be committed to the work. It's all in my bio. 60-day challenge, and then you join the Facebook group. Please close your eyes. It's going to take two minutes. Then we're going to open our eyes and do the I am the winner for the lottery exercise. Okay, close your eyes for now. 
Repeat after me or let these words internalize inside of you. I am happy. I am powerful. I am prosperous. I am selected. I am capable. I am incredible. I am strong. I am put forward. I am lucky. I am a joy. I am able. I am rich. I am wanted. I am generous. I am accepted. I am smart. I am promoted. I am focused. I am recognized. I am the one. I am a blessing. I am success. I am chosen. I am a leader. I am healthy. I am protected. I am creating. I am abundant. I am perfection. I am harmony. I am the best. I am what people want. I am a gift. Open your eyes. We'll do the tapping 369. My next live is on Monday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Take one breath. I am a winner. 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 I am a winner.